Welcome back Stoner Squad and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperial Rome going for Eumenes' footsteps as Cappadocia where we must take control of Alexandria and Babylon. So, previously it all went pretty well to be honest. We've got our independence from the Antigonids because we were formerly a satrapy to the scumbags and uh, we took a little bit of land off them as well. So it's cool, we've got two extra provinces which is quite nice. And uh, I think now we just need to really kind of uh, get some groundwork going for some prosperous realms. So what we need to do is get our tech rate up. Hopefully it will increase at the end of the month when we see it because our pops are now Cybelline since we've changed or our state religion is Cybelline so the pop should output a little bit more um, however I did make a little mistake and I should have tried to befriend these the Seleucids before um, I changed religion because I was the same religion as him Macedonian and he would have probably accepted now the different religion kind of hurts him uh, by minus 10 so it's a little bit of a pain so I should have probably waited but oh well we'll improve the opinion and see if I can get some more buddies uh, Pontus really don't like me. They're at war with the Misos. Um, I might go for a northern alliance with Pan with um, Pontus at some point, I think. Let's try and get some... Yeah, I'll get a little bit of opinion improving with him there. Would all, it'll be nice to have like a northern border secure. I really would think that would be a good thing to have. Um, so we'll try and improve opinion with them. Uh, Paphlagonia here, I could probably eat at some point as well. So there's a load of stuff I want to do. Uh, but anyway, we need to move you fellas back home so I can disband you, which we are doing. Uh, we need a new governor now in Phrygia, so hopefully I'll place someone who is Cybelline. And you are Cybelline, my friend. And you will do just nicely. Are you Cybelline? You are also Cybelline. A lot of them have actually followed. Well, there's a few of them. Well, I have integrated a few pops, anyway. Um, oh God, I want someone with a decent marshal, but I don't really have that many decent guys, do I? So I'm going to have to place you. Um, you've got local citizen happiness and local freeman happiness, because you're generous. However, you do have province commerce production, but you are loyal since you're submissive, so you're definitely going to be the man down here for the job, by far. Um, now what do I need? I need some more trade routes. I've got enough food. Uh, what are our pops like? Are our pops happy? God, our citizens are really, really not happy. And how come? So we have Persian Zoroastrian, Cappadocian Zoroastrian, Cappadocian Cybelline. Negative stability is what's really impacting them. So what we're going to have to do is probably import some goods. I would say that gets the citizens' opinion up a bit. Maybe get a surplus of earthenware for some extra freeman output. It would be nice. We could trade with Egypt. They'll be happy to trade with us. Um, and then probably get some... A surplus of um, precious metals would be nice for the national citizen output. But I can't because nobody wants to trade that with me. What about spices? Ooh, we can get some spices. Get from the Seleucids. We'll trade a bit with the Seleucids for some local citizen happiness. I'm quite happy with that. That's worked out pretty well. I've got a potential civil war because one douchebag is really disloyal. And it's this guy. But I think you were holding and this should solve the problem. Um, which it has. Not just yet. And this guy is really peed off. Hmm. One guy's got a big power base. Why is his base so... Why is power base so big? You're the head of the family. But that shouldn't be enough to have the rebellion. Apparently it is. Apparently it is. Oh well, we can easily we can easily crush him. Actually, what? There's another one. Where did that other one come from? Oh, I just gave you a holding. Just come back. Um, anyway, rising from obscurity, so Cappadocian fortunes are rising over time. Our kingdom has achieved both greater wealth and power. Traditionally, we have relied on the ability, valor, and dignity of our ancient and honourable families. But with rising fortune, there is also ample opportunity of men of quality to rise beyond their birthright. So you're not anything. You're not anything either, and neither are you. But who do I want to bring in? Someone who's good. Like you're really good. Like, military-wise. So, welcome Alhabaios Nesedimit. I welcome you into the family. Well, into the realm. So, now I need to give you a position. So, I need to take off two Nyarkids, probably. I think we can take off two Nyarkids. Let's take off two Nyarkids. Like, you, for example, I can get rid of you. And I'll place this guy instead. Well, fairly decent. Actually, you're more loyal, so I'll place you. Um, and what about this guy? Now I've got a decent guy here I can place. So, you're going to be good. I think... You're going to increase our military experience gain. So I'm happy with that. So that's pretty pretty decent. Um, I need to save up PI now for some idea slots. I would also like to bribe some of these like scumbags who've got like massive power base. God damn it. Can I bribe you? I can't bribe this guy. Hmm, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit. We'll, have to, we'll actually see what happens. I'll wait and we'll see how it plays out. That's got to be the best thing. We'll wait and see how it plays out. No, anyway, we've got the road, by the way. We've got a good road network taken from the Phrygian. So we have their old ancient road network, which is fairly cool. Um, you guys are back in here now. I could actually disband you. Um, so this disband all levies button here that I keep missing. And we gain a little bit of military experience for that. So why not get rid of them? 
And I like that because that is now going to give us... What do we have? Gold to disband now? We should be a little bit more. I'll have a quick check. We make 7.76. That's not bad, actually. That's a decent amount. It's actually a really big amount, actually, considering our size. Um, do you want to be friends, buddy? Nearly. Not entirely, but nearly. Pontus are pretty close. Bridge haters. What about Macadon? Would you like to be buddies, Doi? Ooh, Macadon would like to be friends. Don't want to be friends with Macadon. No, I don't, because we've got land split all over the place. So I don't really want to be friends with them. Egypt would be nice. Let's um, improve opinion with Egypt. Either Egypt or the Seleucids. Either way, one of them would be great to have. I do feel that it would be a good thing to do. Anyway, let's have a look. I have, do I have tribals all over the place here? Yeah, I do. I need to get rid of these tribals. Am I promoting pops? What I should probably do is... I mean, I don't want to go... I could probably change this to social mobility. I mean, it could be done, but I'll probably do that afterwards. I do want to save up for some idea slots. Um, with some, like, stuff that I really want to take. What is my overall bonus, by the way? National slave output, if I take it. Which is quite useful, I have to say. Yeah, this guy is just basically... He basically hates us. God, how am I going to stop... We have one guy. It's basically this one guy that's basically threatening civil war. The others aren't that bad. So I'm going to have to kind of stockpile gold in case I need to hire mercs. But I don't think I would. It should be fine. Anyway, the 120th Olympiad. Who are you? You're no one. 6969. You're okay. I'll send uh, Nepotolemos. Yeah, we'll send you. Oh, yes. Oh, it's the. Oh, God. I, I get rid of the. Oh, no. The Civil War thing's gone because I probably sent away somebody. Well, that's good. Okay. That resets the timer. So that gives us a little bit of extra kind of time in order to do things. Um, you still hate us. You're still fighting the fridge. Or the Antigonid, formerly known as the fridge. Um, let's get our ruler, by the way. And I keep forgetting about to do this. But let's pop on um, influence, I think. Get some extra monthly PI. I do need it because I want to get some idea slots going. It would be quite nice to be able to do so. Um, what is our tech rate now? Only 9%. We're going to need, like, more stuff. And I think we're going to take a little bit of time here to look through what we've got. So, I have, like, one city in this area. And I've got, like, a load of friggin' tribals. Are my tribals migrating? Yeah, they are migrating. I need to get rid of them. I need to pull them into the cities, to be honest, I think. That's the first thing we're going to have to do. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to do on... I'm going to try the centralized pop here. See if I can pull some out. Outgoing migration. So where are you going? I'd like to see where you're migrating to. How do I see this? Should be able to... Oh, incoming migration. Here we go. Incoming migration. So we've got a couple of tribals coming in. And it's a lot faster. So I want to pull them into the city so I can promote them. So that is the reason why I'm doing that. Where's the next areas, maybe? I need to kind of look, see where we've got any other cities here. We're going to definitely need to do this. Um, I have one city here, and I think we have a few tribals all over the place. We do. We need to pull them in. And I need more PI for this. So instead of going for idea slots, we're going to try and pull all the tribals in first. Just to get them promoted. And then we'll kind of save up for the idea slots. At the moment, I can't necessarily do it. Quite a few troops here, which is pretty cool. Fairly useful. I'm very tempted to integrate some of the pops, by the way. I need to look at this as well. Um, I mean, we have a decent amount of Catonian pops. I mean, quite a lot, actually. And I could definitely bring these guys in. And there's a lot of tribals that I can get rid of. And it does give us like, a decent amount of levy. So, 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 let's make a decision here. Let's quickly give you guys maybe... I don't want to give you. Don't want to give you right of inheritance here, or don't want to give you the right to enter legal contracts or anything like that. I don't want the culture slave output reduction. We need the gold. Um... Yeah, let's go for right to enter legal contracts. So we'll quickly pop on right to enter legal contracts. I'm going to lose a bit more stability, I know, but I'm not bothered. We'll get it back up pretty quickly. And then what I'm going to do is bring you guys into the realm. I'll put you as in citizens. Now, I am going to be losing stability, actually, so I might actually wait a little bit. 
Now we're going to wait a teeny bit so we can get this back up. Only a tiny bit. We'll wait and then we'll kind of just try and integrate the guys in. Of course, we're not making as much because our aggressive expansion is kind of stopping it going up, but it's not that bad. Anyway, the Accursed House of Antipatros. Apparently, the son, Philippos, has got gout. That's in Macedon. Or pneumonia and dysentery. So he can't breathe and he's shitting himself. And that must be absolutely awful. Imagine lying in bed just going, <gasps> and then like literally shitting yourself. That must be a horrible death. So sorry, buddy. I'm glad it's not me. Olympic Games conclude. We didn't win, which is a shame. I'd have liked it to have been us. And again, I'm in no position to really go to war again just yet. We do need to wait a bit. Oh, so it's above 20 stability for war now. It was 30 before um, Marius came out, so that's good to know. A religious procession. So, apparently a struggle between the religious echelons of our society and the peasants have come to light. So the priests want to be left alone. Or well, I can give a procession through the territory will appease both sides. I think I'm going to do that, actually. Or... I don't want to decrease your loyalty anymore. I would like the six stability. I really would. But I'm going to take the three stability and get a little bit of, like, kind of loyalty with the high priest. That's going to increase our stability a tiny bit, which is quite nice. So I'll have that. Definitely have that. Just wish I made a little bit more stability in order to kind of integrate some pops. I would like to do that, but I can't do it just yet. You guys are still fighting, and I only have negative 19, like, on these on the Saluka, so I might be able to get an alliance going. Um, here, I want to bring in some pops. So what we're going to do is I'm going to change this now, and I'm going to bang it on uh, centralized the pops. I want to pull them in. However, we are losing a little bit of loyalty now. But it's normal. I'm going to bring them in and then we'll get them from it. I've got no stability, which is probably the major reason behind me losing loyalty like this. But it's not that bad, honestly. I've seen worse. The Armenia campaign, it was like way worse. And um, let's check our migration, by the way. So we've got a lot of incoming migration now. It's speeding things up, which is good. I just really want to pull in as many of the pops into these cities as possible. Considering we only have one city per province, nearly. Um, I think that's about what we have. Like, here I've got one. Um, what about in this place over here? Here I've got one as well, and here I've got one. So you have, like, one city in each province, which works really well. Um, because it kind of gives the bonus to the province... Oh, no, that's not mine. It kind of gives the bonus to the province capital in terms of attraction and speeds up the migration and decreases the attraction of all the other cities or all the other territories in the area or in the province. So this is why doing this is a good thing. And, of course, we should be putting in some quite a decent amount of pops now. It's just to pull the tribals in, and then we can just get them promoted, literally, and I can bang on, like, social mobility or something afterwards, and we can just get them all promoted. And it, it's definitely the best way to go. Anyway, 20 stability. I could do with some more. Maybe a nice event or two to help us would be fairly cool. It would not be a miss. Now, I've got 200 gold, so we could spend a little bit, I suppose. Um, let's see what I can go for here. Here, I don't really have anything in our capital. Um... We're going to need to increase the happiness of our pops here. Um, is there anything for pop promotion speed? I don't think so. Not anymore, anyway. Not with the um, not with the changes. Yeah, there's really no pop promotion speed. So what do we have the most of here? We have quite a few citizens. I need more citizens, though. And we need more. Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to go for Court of Laws. Wow, it cost 112. Wow, how expensive is this? I might actually hold that off, actually, to be honest, and wait till I get enough PI so I can bang on standardized construction. Because, or otherwise, it's just going to cost us a massive amount of cash. Literally, it's just going to cost us so goddamn much. And that's not something I want to do. So we wait. We wait, and we let the game go forward, and we just see what happens in the world, and stockpile gold, get some more manpower back, which we don't have much per month, do we? We don't have a very high maximum either, to be honest. You guys still fighting up there? Oh, you're allied with the Mithridatic Kingdom, but I can easily eat them. Bridge and Pops. Yeah, I don't really want to eat them just yet. I mean, down south here would be a good area to start eating up. But no, I need to get more stable. We need to get our tech up. I don't want to make the same mistake as Armenia because we're going to have like a big problem with province loyalty. So I would sooner do it this way. To be honest, we've got plenty of time. And I don't think the Seleucid is... I mean, yeah, I think the Seleucid is pretty much stuck here. And if we ally this guy... Oh, yes. We like this a lot. What about Egypt? you want to be buddies as well? No, you don't. But the Seleucid do. Which I will definitely take. Thanks, dude. Who's breaking the alliance? I've just got the alliance with you, buddy. Why do you want to break it? Oh, no, they're not. There we go. 
So that's good. So we now have we now have the Salukids as friends. So they're definitely fighting over here. They're trying to take on the Antigonids. They can't really move too far, to be honest. What are they declaring for? It's the legacy of Alexander War, so it's not really much he's going to be able to do, to be honest. He's pretty much stuck. Um, he might... I might give him military... I don't want to give him access. Well, he has access since I'm an ally now, so... I suppose you can move in, but oh well. Anyway, what do I want to go for here? Province loyalty would be nice. Pop assimilation speed could be useful. You get, like... Speed up the assimilation of our non-Macedonian pops, or yeah, I think I could do that. Um, I'm very tempted to go for the province loyalty here. Would be nice. Do I own any of the holy sites? Oh, I do. I own this one. That's cool. And I've got a statue of a goddess in there. I don't have any other treasures though. I've got a Mar figure. Um, what do I want to go for? Pop assimilation speed. Do I have any pops assimilating? That is the... Oh, I have already got a major temple there? I didn't know I've already got like, a big temple in this place. That's wicked. Oh, I've already got one there as well. We already have a few of these temples for some reason. I don't know why. Huh, interesting. Uh, but do I have any kind of pops assimilating? I have a few... I suppose I could. I mean, I might as well. Yeah, let's bang on pop simulation speed here. It might help that a little bit extra. I mean, there's no reason why we can't do that. So let's try it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a damn bloody good go. Um, don't want to bring in... I mean, I could probably... Uh, what do we have here? I have quite a few tribals around the surrounding area, don't I, as well yet. I need to really do this first, to be honest, before we actually start building stuff. So let's go on... Centralize the pops again. So we'll centralize you in here. Try to bring them all in. I do feel it is the best way to move forward. And I might get a war going in the next episode or something, maybe. I mean, I know I can definitely eat some of Paphlagonia. They've got a pretty... They've got a small revolt. It's nothing major, but I could eat them. And we have a road that goes all the way up here. Do you have any cities in this area? You have, like, one. Not that much. We've got a decent amount of gold... I mean, I would love to build some stuff, but it's just costing me so damn much. I mean, is our actually wife doing anything for the reduction? Yeah, minus 20% build cost. So imagine what it would like without that. I'll be insane. Our tech rate is really slow as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to save up for the idea before I change any more governor policies. Because I just want the minus 50% build cost. Hmm, I probably shouldn't have given him... I probably shouldn't have allied him. Because now he's going to have access through over here, and... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want him taking any of this land. I really don't. If we can stop him from taking it, it'll be quite nice. Anyway, the Paphlagonia Civil War ends. Not my problem. But now that's ended, that's pretty damn good. Um, really would like to take you guys on. Like, really. And I could easily take on the Mithridatic Kingdom as well. But I have no manpower, so no. It's pointless going to Gung Ho. I need to be careful. Um, have you kept Arakosia? No, you haven't. You've surrendered Arakosia to the Morias, Seleucids. Fair enough. I don't blame you. How long has the war been going on for against these guys? Quite a while. Hopefully they'll end it soon. I hope so. So you've got some unit. You might be able to catch him. I don't want him losing too much land over here, really. I don't. I probably shouldn't have given him any access, to be honest. Because with an alliance, he has access. So that is probably another mistake I've made. Anyway, xenophobia. Heated debates in the court are not uncommon, especially when there are so many prominent members of society involved. Lately, a wave of xenophobia has swept across Cappadocia, resulting in foreign values being treated with distrust. Now, I can gain wise, which does give me national citizen output, which is really nice. I am going to lose a bit of loyalty with this guy. So, I'm going to take it anyway. And I might be able to quickly kind of bribe you back. It is annoying. I don't really want to... Actually, you're dying. Are you dying? No, you're old, so you might be dying. What about this Trophius guy? No, you're really peed off with me. Yeah, I'm going to bribe you. Screw it. Screw it, screw it, screw it. You're not dying yet. I'll lose a bit of PI, but oh well. Wow, he's absolutely smashing him over here. Can you please just finish your damn war? Instead of, like, walking around my lands. It would be quite nice if you didn't do that. Yeah, he's got little bits here. I probably shouldn't have let him come through here. He would have probably found a way anyway, but... 
I don't know how long this war is going to last. Of course, it's all going to blow up as soon as Antigonus dies anyway, so... I don't know what he's doing in my land here. He's got a load of elephants and a load of heavy infantry. Wow. So much stuff. I literally don't have any of that. Thank God I'm friends with the guy. Like, literally. But I really want to spend this gold, but... I can't, because it's just so much. I could save a fair amount by not spending it. By waiting for the standardized construction. But anyway, land mismanagement. In a staggering display of incompetence, it seems that Governor Giges has mismanaged his estates in the province of Laconia to such a degree that there are reports of food shortages across the area. Well, I might as well spend some of it. He's going to lose some loyalty, but I'll alleviate the shortages. On those strip his estates. I can clap in him irons. Is this guy loyal? He is loyal. Uh, I'll strip his estates. Yeah, help the needy. We get a bit of popularity, why not? Since I'm losing popularity because we are trying to gain more PI by influencing, so. Disloyalty of the consort. Ah, my consort's disloyal, are you? Oh, okay, that reduces my PI gain. I had no idea. Minus 14%. It actually affects it quite a bit. Uh, the Prince of Chios, so the Mithridatic dynasty, until which recently lorded over the Mysian city of Chios, has now risen to rule over the Kingdom of Pontus in northern Cappadocia, an area lost bickering local dynast by the Diadochi. These developments will surely have long-lasting effects on the future of the region. So the leaders of Chios are now in charge of Pontus, which is very interesting indeed. Um, but I would love a war with Paphlagonia here. I would love one. I really would. But I need a little bit more. Only a tiny bit more. Yeah, this Antigone is finished here. He's literally done. Annoying, because I don't really want the Seleucids to take all this land, to be honest. I would like it for myself. Again, I probably shouldn't have accepted the alliance just yet. I should have waited until the end of the war and then done it. But, oh well. My bad. How long has the fighting been going on for? It's got to peace out soon, surely to God. 35% for them. He's going to have, like, little bits in here, isn't he? It's a shame, because I would have liked to have taken this off him. I really would. And I have a truce with them, so I can't really do it just yet anyway. How long does my truce last with these guys? Let's have a look. 457. 25th of September, I could go back in. But... Yeah, nah, I, I can't. I can't, I can't. Oh, well. It is what it is. A scientific breakthrough. Uh, what do I do here? So I hate this event really because it, it, I can gain like points in one category and then I lose research efficiency. Now, I would take it in this situation because our research efficiency is crap. But we have an option here because we're a scholar and I can gain 20% religious advanced progress but lose some gold for it. And I think that's well worth it. Yeah, that's well worth it. Well worth it indeed. So we'll go for that. And what I'm going to want though is in tech wise i'm going to want to go down the path for the grand temple the grand theaters i think so i can increase loyalty and get some like macedonian pops i think that is where we're going to try and go for first so at the moment we're losing a bit of loyalty it's nothing major but we are losing a little bit uh, i could do with a little bit more stab before i integrate some more pops um right let's 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 get an idea slot, okay? I'm going to take the standardized construction here. It's the important one, and this is going to help us reduce the cost a bit because, right, it's expensive. So now it's down to 90 instead of 120 something, so I think that's well worth it. So we'll get one of them there. I'll also get one in every single place. I've got, like, the um, centralized the pops. I've got one over here as well. Um, I can definitely pop one in this area. Increases has promised loyalty as well, which is quite nice. We'll get them in. Hopefully it should increase the opinion of our citizens. Do I have any more migration? No, I don't. So we pretty much pulled out the damn tribals and we pulled them into the city. It's worked pretty well, I have to say. Um, where's this? Outgoing migration. Do I have outgoing migration? Just one here. I'll still like to pull in a few more, but hopefully we can. We've got another guy that's peed off with us. So which one is it this time? Not you. You're already peed off. This guy is the next one that's peed off, so... Menon. Uh, you got to be kidding me, buddy. I might have to bribe him. I don't really want the Civil War, to be honest. It's not something that I really want to have. 
This is like border gore galore. Look at this. It's insane how much border gore you get down in this area. It's literally crazy. Um, what could I go for next? Probably a religious idea slot. I don't even know what I want here. Hmm. Probably go for a military one for someone who'll have armies or something. It would help. I think. Um. What else have I done here? Have I got any kind of... No, so that's not centralised. This is just this place for the moment. I haven't got any down here, have I, either? And I haven't centralised this spot yet. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for an academy here as well, I think. We'll go for an academy in there quickly. Might as well. Look at our pops. They're not insanely happy, but negative stability is really hurting their happiness. Once we get it above the required amount, we should be fine. Um, I could probably bribe one guy now, to be honest. And um, which one's the one I wanted to bribe? Not you. Not you. God, I can't bribe you. This is the one I wanted to bribe. I'll bribe you quickly, and then I'll grant you a holding, just to kind of keep you off my back. There we go. Problem solved. Do I have any children, by the way? I don't. I have, like, no children. Can you, like, not pop out some kids? Or is it because you hate me? I think it's because you don't like me. Yeah, it's a shame. Hmm. We definitely need some children. I mean, who is my primary heir to Philosophos? Yeah, my Inted family will take power. They're Macedonian. And the Cybeline, though, that's fine. They're Macedonian want to keep. I don't want them to be anything other than Macedonian. Have you not finished your proxy war yet, buddy? I mean, seriously? How long is this fighting going to last? 121st Olympiad. So who am I going to send? The Archigrammatus. Or this guy. I'll send this guy. We'll send uh, Neoptolemos again. He has a. He might be able to do something. I don't think he'll win it, but he might be able to do something about it. I need more PI desperately. Desperately need PI. Anyway, xenophobia. Heated debates in the court are often common, especially when there were so many prominent members of society involved. Lately, a wave of xenophobia has swept across Cappadocia, resulting in foreign values being regarded with great distrust. Turn the other cheek. Yeah, I'll turn the other cheek. He's going to lose loyalty. He already hates me anyway, so it's not really a problem. Though we'll let him hate me a little bit more. Um, do I have any more migration coming in? Yeah, here we've filled up quite a few. Um, what about here? Here again, I think I have a few other migrating in, which is fine. Keep checking. Yeah, we seem to be doing a decent job in getting rid of um, getting rid of some of the tribals. Could have got these to, to help increase the migration speed, but don't need to at the moment. Now, manpower's back up a little bit. Maybe a small war against Paphlagonia would be... Oh, no, they're allied with Pontus now, so that is going to be a lot harder than anticipated. Maybe I can get an alliance with Armenia? No. If I could bring in the Seleucids into the fray, I could do something, but I might actually try and take these guys out. I mean, you're just allied with them. Um, by the way, I have missions. I keep forgetting about this. So what do I want? The Matter of Thigia or Pearl of Cappadocia to Ricca? Um, oh, this bridge is over here, and I'm never going to really be able to control this. Actually, this is part of Fridges, so I get free claims. So, uh, the matter of Fridges, let's go. We'll start this mission, and I'll consult the court. We'll get some free claims. It'll be quite nice. And I get some free claims over here that I'll probably eat up, to be honest. Um, I think there's some cities in there that we could use. There's one there. There's no cities here that I'm going to have to build one, but there's still some stuff, and I might as well take them in. Anyway, the matter of Phrygia. The region of Phrygia has made a valuable source of trade and commerce for our nation for many long years. Okay, so what do I want to do? Peaceful or warlike? I'll go for the peaceful. Uh, I'll take the peaceful one here because I lose a bit of loyalty with him. I don't want to get you disloyal because I'm going to have a civil war. So I'll take the peaceful approach. I should be fine. We'll keep it nice and easy. Have you finished yet, buddy? No, you're still fighting and he's basically occupying everything here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have let him through. It, that's my bad. Olympic Games conclude we didn't win. That's a shame. But yeah, I shouldn't have really let him in. Because now he's going to take all this for himself. I'm just hoping that maybe something will happen. He'll like, kind of blow up or lose. Or they'll be warring or something. I, I don't know. 
We'll deal with that later on. <laughs> Each problem at a time. One problem at a time. Uh, sounding out the opposition. So debate has raised for many years over our rocky relationship with the nation states in Phrygia. Warlike approach. Yep, warlike approach. Gotta be warlike. Has to be warlike. We'll definitely focus our efforts down in this area here. Definitely some places that I want to take, like these little ones here, is going to be quite nice. They could probably swarm away around here and take all the southern section. So many possibilities, and I really don't know exactly where to start. But anyway, here we'll go for one of these. Go for the academy in here. We might as well. Is our tech rate going up? We're up to 17% now. It's getting a little bit better. It's going to take a bit of time. It is going to take a bit of time, but it's going to be well worth it in the end. It's definitely going to be well worth it. What's my stability like? 26 now. Um, I think it's about time I started integrating. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to integrate these guys, these Catonian pops. There's quite a few of them. Let's bring these guys in. I'll make them citizens. I'm going to lose a bit of stability per month, but I don't care really. Uh, we've got plus 10% integration speed due to the rights to enter legal contracts, so... It's going to go a little bit quicker than anticipated. It shouldn't take too long, and hopefully we'll have some nice events that boost it up along the way, and it will definitely help us. So that'll be nice. We'll quickly get these guys integrated. Can I sort out the outliner here, the integrated, like, pops? Can I change this? No, I can't. Shame I can't add. I would like to add, like, integration process. Can I add this? Human players, active diplomacy... Yeah, I can't shame. I'd like to be able to put my integration process there so I can actually see it on the bar, but oh well. It is what it is. Can't be helped. Can't be helped. I haven't had any cute events for a while. Quite annoying. Yeah, they're basically occupying all this. The so Salukas are going to eat every single last ounce of this up. God, I feel stupid for letting them pass. Anyway, war refugees. Yeah, I'm going to bring them in. The Phrygians, I don't care. Um... I'm going to bring in their pops. So we gain two, a freeman, a tribe, and a citizen, and another freeman. So we gain some extra pops in the realm, so I'll bring them in. It will always, it'll always help. It's always useful. You never get enough of them. Um, so what have I got here? Here I've got one of them. Quite nice. Um, the court speaks, so we gain some diplomatic reputation, um, improve opinion maximum, and some war score cost, which is quite useful. Egypt, would you like to be friends? No. No, 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 no. I'm very tempted to eat up Paphlagonia. Especially considering they're already fighting. So maybe once I've integrated these pots here, I think a good ward would be up here to try and take some of this land. Now they are Phrygian. And I could probably integrate them later on down the line. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see how it works. I really don't know exactly what I want to do to proceed. Now what have I got here? I've got one of them. Have I got a, one of these over here? I haven't got one over here. So we'll get an academy over there quickly. And the Antigone is called Wavers, so the antagonists have been carved up by the Diadochi. So it's finished, they're dead, the Seleucids have taken all of this here now. It's a pain. I wish I didn't ally them just yet, to be honest. I really do. It's a, it's a shame. It's a shame, it's a shame. But it can't be helped. It is what it is. I should have probably done it after the war, once the war ended. Now their forces are pretty much stuck over here. Huh. Are you still fighting, Seleucid? No, you're not. I can nearly get another idea slot. I'm making a fair amount of gold. Um, let's pop another idea slot on here. Now, what can I go for this? I can go for civ level, civ country, civ change, multi subject states, or pop game. Or I can get an I military idea slot and go with out of armies, which I think is going to be the best bet. Let's go out of armies. Pop that on. That's going to help. You never know. In a war, extra little bit of morale could definitely be the way forward to help us. And they're fighting Armenia over here. Would you like to join me, um, Saluki? No, because you have a lot of war exhaustion, so you're not going to join just yet. But that's fine. I probably don't even need you, so I could probably even just focus on what is going on down the south here. It would be fairly easy to occupy. I mean, I've got the manpower. Let's just take a look what they've got here. There's no real major cities here, and I think there's quite a few tribals in there, but... I could just, like, kind of bring them in. Um, I would like this as well. Just this province here would be quite 
useful and it does block the passages through here so i think that's what we're going to aim for i'll probably get it done the next episode not just yet we'll wait a little bit longer and this is still being integrated and i don't really have that much um ability do i, I need more stability but it is only going down a little bit per month it's not really that bad and what's our tech rate now 19 percent. we're getting there it's going up slightly i'm going to need to swap some of the policies i think pretty soon I don't have any, I don't have much migration here anymore. So apart from here, um, here I have one. Here I don't have any. So I think what I might do here is I might bang on up promotion. I can definitely promote, get some more slaves and get some more nobles and stuff. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll wait till I get some points and we'll bang on pop promotion in each one of these three, and then I'll work on the other provinces. I think. Um, anyway, Athenian Athenian machinations with thunderous applause. It seems that the Antipatrids have orchestrated a plot to subvert politics in the once mighty city of Athens through nefarious schemes. Their lackey, Lashardis Lasharid, has been elected Archon with broad emergency powers and reintroduced a Macedonian garrison to ensure compliance. Athens is now a feudatory of Macedon. Interesting. Um, our tribal neighbour, Kanatia, has started investing a lot of their treasury into opening up the borders between our two nations. This is quite good. We gain a bit of gold, they gain opinion with us, and um, we gain tribal influx. Well, but, yeah, we gain tribal influx from local tax. So we'll have that. That's fairly useful. We'll definitely take some of that. And I'm going to end the episode here, people. Thank you so much for joining me in the next one. I'll probably do a war down here. We'll get knock some of these guys out, like maybe like you here. I mean, how many do they have? Knock you out and you out. What if I did you instead? I can take these three. What about you? You, I can just knock these two. Um, here, I can knock these three down. To be on the safe side, I'll do the war once we've integrated these fellas. I think it will be the best thing to do. Once they're integrated, we'll do the war. Because it allows me to raise another levy. And I can split them up and both can take like, separate people on at once instead of me taking one down sieging the fort and then moving all the way around to deal with the other so we'll do it that way but anyway as usual thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed the episode please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below and if you want to see some more imperative Rome content then please consider subscribing to the channel for more and with that said and done thank you so much for being here and i'll hopefully catch you all in the next one bye for now